You might have heard the saying, Jack of all trades, master of none, but Honeywell International Incorporated has turned that saying around, and they are proof that they are jack of all trades and master of all. Few American companies are as productive as Honeywell International. As such, they are a true conglomerate in a world of ever greater specialization. However, Honeywell didn't start as a full-fledged technology company. In fact, the history began in 1885 with the invention of the furnace regulator, and it has gone through a series of leadership and name changes. How it all started In 1885, inventor Albert Butts patented the furnace regulator and alarm. He formed the Butts Thermoelectric Regulator Company in Minneapolis, where he created a device called the Damper Flapper. Their invention was a predecessor to the modern thermostat. The company underwent a change when the Consolidated Temperature Controlling Company acquired Butts's patents and business. By 1893, it had been renamed Electric Heat Regulator. Five years later, W.R. Sweat bought the company and named it Minneapolis Heat Regulator Company, and he expanded its product line by patenting the first electric motor that was approved by Underwriters Laboratories. In 1906, engineer Mark Honeywell formed the Honeywell Heating Specialty Company, which specialized in making hot water heat generators. But this was after perfecting them as part of his plumbing and heating business. By 1927, Minneapolis Heat Regulator Company and Honeywell Heating Specialty Company merged to form the Minneapolis Honeywell Regulator Company. The business became the largest producer of high-quality jeweled clocks. The company grew quickly as it began to tackle more challenges, including industrial controls and indicators. They had expanded so much that they were vital to the Apollo 11 mission when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walked on the moon. For the mission, 16,000 Honeywell parts went into the 14 separate electronic devices that made up the stabilization and control systems. Meanwhile, Honeywell pilots also helped with the flight testing. As part of its expansion, Allied Signal, which was into the aerospace, automotive and engineering materials business, acquired Honeywell in 1999. They chose to keep the name Honeywell because it was already a recognized brand. Together, the companies shared huge business interests in aerospace, chemical products, automotive parts, and building controls. At the start of the 21st century, Honeywell continued to grow by acquiring businesses across industries. By 2005, they had acquired Universal Oil Products. They were a leading international supplier and licensor for petroleum refining, at processing, petrochemical production, and major manufacturing industries. A few years down the line, Honeywell acquired Metrologic Instruments, which made laser, mobile imaging, and remote scanners. In 2016, Intelligrated joined the conglomerate as they provided automation solutions for distribution centers and warehouses. By 2018, Honeywell had turned their home business into an independent, publicly traded company. With companies like Residio still creating Honeywell home products as a licensed brand. Honeywell as a global company now lists hundreds of goods and services it develops. Among their products are air traffic communication systems, brake pads, commercial boilers, flat panel displays, industrial pigments, planarization materials, rubber insulation, silicone sealants, thermocouples, and water mixing valves. The multinational company has also expanded its range from civilian products such as thermostats found in homes to the most specialized military equipment such as helicopter engines. The Digital Transformation The digital transformation of the Charlotte-based company took off in earnest in 2017 when the then-new CEO Darius Adamczyk brought in a digital-first strategy. Since we are in the digital age, companies that were born in an earlier era are beginning to realize that to stay relevant, competitive and profitable, 
they must go through a digital transformation. And Honeywell is one such conglomerate with a brand that has resonated with consumers around the world for more than a century. In 2017, Honeywell began its launch into digital transformation by investing a $100 million fund that will focus on early-stage technology startups. Some of these startups belong to Honeywell's core sectors, including aerospace, energy, safety, security, productivity, and global urbanization. When the fund was launched, Honeywell CEO Darius Adamzik said, We will invest in companies from around the world with emerging or disruptive technologies that either complement our technologies or can help us serve our customers more effectively. As a result, Honeywell has been working on a range of connected technologies which unite software and analytics with industrial products. One example is Honeywell's Go Direct maintenance services program that flags critical faults in an aircraft that needs to be repaired, and it shares its findings with an airline's operations and maintenance centers. As part of Honeywell's connected aircraft services, GoDirect uses high-speed internet connections to send, receive, and analyze data from an airplane's components and equipment. As expected, the aerospace systems business is Honeywell's biggest by revenue, as it accounts for a consistent 33% of the company's income. The aerospace systems business makes auxiliary power units and aircraft engines, as well as turbochargers for passenger cars and commercial vehicles. When asked about his significant step from a legal industrial manufacturer into a top software provider, Adamzik said, the one common fiber across all our business is we are a controls company. And when you're a controls company, you're connected to all the systems in that building, in that aircraft. We use that data to drive controls, but we could use that data to drive energy savings, to drive efficiency. According to Daniel Newman, an analyst at Futurum Research, Honeywell's digital transformation strategy is twofold. Internally, the company is changing the way it operates, while externally, the company is tapping into the software market. As such, it is no surprise that big companies like Honeywell, that are highly diversified with multiple business units, tend to acquire large, valuable troves of data. Since it already has a history in electronics and home appliances, they have quickly adapted to the fast-growing world of edge computing. Honeywell's expansion into software led to the launch of its enterprise performance management software solution, called Honeywell Forge. The software leverages its expertise in asset and process control technology across industries including buildings, airlines, industrials, and critical infrastructure. It is an Internet of Things-based analytics tool that helps enterprises to manage their performance in manufacturing and financial operations. As part of its venture into technology, Honeywell integrated its Forge technology with the Microsoft Dynamics 365 Field Service ERP system. Later on, the company introduced Forge Worker Assist, a SaaS-based platform that allows workers in various industries to receive remote assistance in the field. But beyond changing externally, Honeywell is also changing internally. And according to Honeywell's Chief Digital Technology Officer, Sheila Jordan, every department in the company has been going through one form of digital transformation. One key project that was embarked upon was to redesign Honeywell's IT network. Jordan has said that Honeywell is taking their next step in digital transformation, and that includes artificial intelligence. Honeywell is using AI technology in its home and commercial building business. And according to Jordan, with AI and data, Honeywell is just beginning to explore the possibilities as the veteran conglomerate continues to transform itself. Because with AI and data, there's no real end. With its potential to make one smarter and more intuitive, it is just going to keep on growing. For companies like Honeywell to stay on top in an industry with large barriers, they will need to consistently adapt, innovate, and adjust 
into areas that hold the most potential for future profits. Fortunately, they are well on their way. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell so you never miss an upload.